It's called Professor Torbert's Orange Corn, and it's already on the menu at about half a dozen Indiana restaurants. It was developed by an agronomy professor at Purdue, Dr. Torbert Rochford. He says the non-GMO corn is more nutrient dense, which creates its deep orange color. Professor Torbert originally developed it to address malnutrition in Africa, but is now teaming up with his son to sink their teeth into the U.S. market with their startup Nutramaze. Chief Executive Officer Evan Rochford joins me now to tell us more. Thank you for coming to the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. So you are Professor the son, yep. kind of running the business side of things. Yep, so tell right. us first, what makes your corn more nutritious? Yeah, so the dark orange color of our corn comes from significantly increased levels of carotenoids, which these are the same kind of natural antioxidant pigments that make carrots orange and also give them their well-known health benefits. And you have an interesting story. Tell us how you got your start in Africa before you began selling in the U.S. market. Yeah, and so um, Torbert, my father, has been working on orange corn for over 20 years. He's participated in a uh, biofortification effort called Harvest Plus. And so um, the idea is to naturally increase the nutrient content of foods people are already consuming to deliver uh, vitamins or minerals they're deficient in. And so in Africa, they have vitamin A deficiencies and they eat a lot of white corn. So the idea is to get them to eat uh, orange corn instead and so they can get beta carotene through the corn. And this also is good for American health though, so it crossed the pond, so they say. Mm -hmm. Restaurants in West Lafayette, also in Indy, are already using it. Tell us what they're creating, how they're using it. Yeah, and so uh, we've got you know a number of people using it as a polenta, like Pizzology uh, and Carmel, uh, Bistro 501 in Lafayette. Uh, we, we also have people using it you know, more as a traditional grit, uh, Upland College Ave uh, here in Indy, as well as uh, Nami's, which just opened up in Lafayette. And I think, um, what, what I'm really excited about is you know, the unique flavor uh, and texture characteristics of our corn uh, really make it a great platform for innovation. And so uh, you know, me and Chef Natalie up at Rise came up with the uh, concept that we call a grittata, which is a, basically a vegan uh, frittata that uses grits instead of eggs. And so that will be going on their menu when they open their second location. So it's kind of like a blank canvas. Yeah, it's a, I think it, it brings a lot more uh, to the table than a traditional uh, just white or yellow corn would. And so it, it makes a really great platform for doing new and interesting things that a, a white or yellow might not shine as much. So if people want to get creative at home, tell us what you're selling and how people can get their hands on it. Yeah, so right now we have uh, two pound bags, retail bags of grits available uh, on Amazon. So the best way to find those are to go to our website, professortorberts.com, and there's a link directly to the page there. Uh, or if there's chefs that are interested, uh, we, uh, we can set up a wholesale account if they reach out to us through the website as well. So can you tell us about any uh, f future products that you're working on or what plans you have for down the road? Yeah, so uh, we'll be launching a cornmeal here shortly. Uh, and, and longer term, you know, we're really interested in partnering with uh, other food companies as an ingredient supplier to uh, you know get this to as many people as possible. So things like tortilla chips, uh, snack food, cereals, uh, and we're already generating some really good interest, and so we're excited about that. Very good. So uh, from beginning to end, one thing I like about this is this is homegrown in Indiana. That's right. We work with a family farmer over near Rushville, and uh, it's milled right here in Indiana, so it's 100% Hoosier. And you mentioned the cornmeal. What kinds of things could you create out of the cornmeal? Yeah, so the cornmeal, uh, it creates a really beautiful golden brown uh, sort of corn muffin. And so it, it, people have described it as having sort of a, the corn is having a nutty, buttery flavor uh, sort of on its own. And so you, you don't need to uh, uh, put as much uh, you know, dairy or, or anything in there. Right, and that's important for a lot of people. Uh, what are you most excited about looking forward? You know, I think that what's exciting is that we have the opportunity to do something uh, similar to what's going on in Africa here in the United States. And so we don't have vitamin A deficiencies here, but most Americans could benefit from getting more carotenoids that have been associated with uh, maintaining eye health. And so uh, by getting those into foods people are already consuming, uh, I think there's a really great opportunity to uh, you know, promote healthier diets. And at a food expo this weekend, so good luck with that. Hope Thank it uh, produces some more good things for you. All right. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. And Gary, back to you.